We are your area news team. Due to the excess rain that we've had this year, there's been a larger number of centipedes and millipedes hatch out. Although the name millipede is derived from Latin meaning thousand feet, there are no known species of millipede that have 1,000 feet. The record is 750. Both millipedes and centipedes are members of the arthropod family, meaning they are more closely related to shrimp or crayfish than insects. And that also goes back to the issue of why there are more millipedes and centipedes this year. They tend to hatch out in damp environments, so more rain equals more millipedes and centipedes if it occurs at the right time of the year, and it happened to do so this year. Now their primary defense mechanism is to roll up, and if under threat, they can also secrete or spray, in some cases, a mild acidic toxin. And if it gets on your skin, it can cause some irritation. Now centipedes, which do resemble millipedes, have less legs, their name meaning 100 feet, with species of centipede varying in the number of legs they have, from 30 to 354. And most centipedes could be considered more dangerous than millipedes due to their poisonous pincher-like appendage known as forcepules, which technically are not either pinchers or fangs, but rather modified front legs that can inject poison into their victims. In addition, there are no known species of centipede that have exactly 100 legs, without being wounded and losing legs, of course. I met with Nacogdoches County Extension Agent Ricky Thompson to find out more about these arthropods and some possible methods of control. You know, as far as uh, controls, it's very difficult. Not that, uh, mainly dealing with the, the millipede himself. Uh, they're difficult because they don't tend to clean themselves. And when I say that, a lot of insects clean their feet or their hands, their legs and they ingest uh, products that we uh, attack them with. Millipedes don't do that. Um, so when we start thinking about a contact killer, uh, it almost like we have to have a, uh, a contact killer. When we start thinking about products to combat them, it needs to be a combat uh, contact killer. Something like carbol or uh, pomethrins or one of those type uh, products. Uh, you can deal with your your, your local uh, feed store or hardware store, and uh, there's products on the market. Uh, just to name a few common names, uh, something like uh, Liquid Seven or uh, Malathion. You know, it's it's hard to say. I think they will run a cycle as we get more into the hotter and drier time period. I think we'll uh, we'll see less of this. And uh, I'd hate to say that, you know, it's going to last for another three weeks and, uh, or it's going to last another week. I really don't know. Just depends on Mother Nature, how uh, temperature and climate goes to, to say when they'll, how long it will actually last. With Center Broadcasting Company, this has been Justin Mott encouraging you to go out and be amazing. cbc-radio.com, keeping you connected wherever you go.